Greetings, my little lovelies. I hope I find you all well again, and as usual, feeling tickety-boo. Now, it's all kicking off here at Weird World Towers. We're moving house. What? No, no, no. You just can't get the staff these days. Right, what we got? What's up, Gary? <laughs> right, we've got ghost pictures. I've got to hurry. Um, snakes. The Pope. Oh, the Pope. Uh, what else we got? There's one more. Can't remember. Daddy! What? I'm going as fast as I can. Oh, right. Let's crack on, shall we? <laughs> snake catchers in Australia were recently called to remove a snake from the unlikeliest of places. The peculiar incident occurred at Queensland, where a teenager had spotted a small snake slithering out of a pile of washing she had brought in from outside and placed on the kitchen floor. She was initially unable to determine where the unwelcome visitor had gone. However, it didn't take long for her to discover that the curious serpent had curled up inside one of her asthma inhalers. Unsurprisingly, she wasted no time in calling a snake catcher to come and remove it from the house. Now this snake turned out to be a venomous red-bellied black snake. The snake catchers said, This is crazy and super lucky we were able to find the snake. It's one of the most incredible places we have ever found a snake before. The snake has now been caught and relocated to safety. How about that, my little lovelies? Snakes! Ooh, dear, dear. No, 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 no. A mother has captured this image of what appears to be a spirit trying to make contact with her grandchildren. She says, The spirit has been making contact for some time with my two-year-old granddaughter and seven-month-old grandson. It started out talking to the two-year-old and keeps her up every night, usually laughing and talking, until one night we heard our granddaughter say no and telling it to go away. But it never went away. What do we make of this photograph, my little lovelies? As usual, let us know. Come to me. Pope Francis flew into Iraq recently despite concerns over coronavirus and security risks, after scholars claimed the Bible's rebirth of Babylon prophecy could now come to fruition. The Vatican leader's arrival in Baghdad marks the first ever papal visit to the biblical land, and he will now begin a pilgrimage in the footsteps of Abraham, an important figure recognised by the Jews, Christians and Muslims. The visit of the Pope has a highly symbolic value, given the importance of Iraqi Christians in the history of the country, dating back to the time of ancient Babylon, nearly 4,000 years ago. Prime Minister Mustafa al-Kadhimi stated that he hopes it will inspire Christians to return and to help rebuild the nation after years of devastation under the hands of al-Qaeda and ISIS. He said, we are glad the Christians will return to Iraq and contribute to its reconstruction. But some Bible followers have stated that rebuilding these ancient sites could fulfill an overlooked prophecy in the Bible. The birth of Babylon. Revelation chapters 17 and 18 state that to see the prophecy come to fruition, Babylon must be rebuilt on a grand scale. They go on to say the Bible not only shows that a literal Babylon will exist at the end of our age, but it will be reconstructed in the same location as its ancient predecessor in the Middle East. It is also said it is going to emerge in the land of Shina, known today as Iraq. The following has been sent in by Andrea from Scotland and she says I've been taking care of my aunt almost a year now 
and several times early in the morning, when it's still dark and she's asleep, I hear her calling my name. I ask her when she wakes if she was calling me, but she says no. Recently, I have also heard another voice calling me. It is the voice of a man. I don't recognize the voice, but recently during the day, I could have sworn I heard this male voice calling my aunt's name. I'm not sure if someone is trying to warn me about something or why I keep hearing these voices. When my mother died, I heard her voice as well, and also the voice of my brother who has also died. I was asleep both times and clearly heard their voices call me. I'm not exactly sure what's going on or whether I have some sort of connection to those who have passed or those who are about to pass. Many thanks and greetings from Scotland. Welcome back, my dear lovelies. I hope you enjoyed that. As usual, let us know your thoughts. Keep everything nice and clean and... What's that word again? Diggity boo Daddy! Yeah, I'm going. I'm going as fast as I can. Yeah? Thank you. As I mentioned before, we're moving house. Anyone who's moved house will know how stressful that is. Not that I'm stressed, but you know what I mean. I think we'll all need a nice little drink at the end of it. Somebody mentioned drinks. Drinks. Hello? Drinks. Gin and tonic, please. Hello? Hello? Over, over here. <sighs> Just can't get the staff these days. Right, my little lovelies. I'm off to pack my socks and my underpants, and I'm out of here. So, until next time. <laughs> oh, dear. Until next time, my little lovelies. Drinks. Take care. And stay safe. Ta-da, my little lovelies. Ta-da! Drinks, please. Drinks. Hello? Service? Don't get so close to the fire You might just burn 